beautiful day once again as I welcome you to Menalize TV. So as we have started with measurement, we are still continuing to look at some solids and then how to find their total surface area and their volume. So today our lesson is going to be based on cuboid. And then where this is the cuboid not drawn to scale, then we have the net of a cuboid. So this is the cuboid, this is the net of the cuboid. And this cuboid is having about six rectangles. And these six rectangles, the opposite sides are what? The same. The opposite sides are the same. So we are going to look at how to find the total surface area of a cuboid having this dimension. So we have the length which is 10 centimeters, the width which is 6 centimeters, and the height which is 5 centimeters. So since opposite sides are equal, that means the total surface area. We know that the opposite sides are equal, that means two opposite sides are the same. So when you look at this, this, if this is A, this is also A, that means these two sides are what? The same. So their areas are going to be the same. So this B, this also B, that means these two sides are also the same. And this C, this also C, that means these two sides are also the same. So their areas are going to be the same. So when you look at this, you realize that we have 2A plus 2B plus 2C. When you look at it, 2A, the A there are 2, that means this uh, area there is going to be 2. When you look at this one to the same and the other one to the same. So we use the formula 2 into bracket, the length times the width plus length times the height plus width times what? The height. That is the formula for finding the total surface area of a keyboard. So when you look at this, we have our length which is 10 centimeters, our width 6 and then the height 5 centimeters. So we are going to substitute the values in to find our total surface area. So what we have is 2 into bracket the length 10 centimeters times the width 6 centimeters plus the length 10 centimeters times the height 5 centimeters the width So the width 6 cm times the height 5 cm. So let's see what we have. So we have 2 outside the bracket. Then 10 times 6 will give us 60 cm squared plus 10 times 5 will give us 50. We have 50 cm squared plus 5 times 6 will give us 30 cm squared. So 30 plus 50 will give us 80. 80 plus 60 will give us 140. So we have the 140 there, centimeters squared. So the 2 times 140 centimeters squared will give us 280 centimeters squared. That is the total surface area of a keyboard if the length is 10 centimeters, the height is 5 centimeters. And the width is what? 6 centimeters. Now we are going to look at volume. So to find the volume, we use the, the volume for keyboard. We use the formula. So the length times the width times the height. So our length is 10 centimeters. The width 6 centimeters and the height 5 centimeters. So when you look at this, 5 times 6 will give us 30, and 30 times 10 will give us 300. So our volume is 300 centimeters or cube. So thank you so much for watching today's episode 2. Remember to subscribe to this channel, Menalize TV. Menalize TV, when the sun rises.